Hey all, Mr. Sunglasses doing a little NES gaming. Today we're going to be playing some 3D Battles of World Runner, or 3D World Runner, as the box says. Uh, it was 3D because if you hit the select button, it became a red and uh, blue uh, 3D. So you had to get the 3D glasses that were included in the game. The game was released by Square in Japan on the Famicom Disk System, and the claim made the game in the U.S. Uh, some names that are interest of it, in, which I'm not going to butcher horribly, uh, Hironobu Saka, Sakaguchi, Nasari Garibelli, and Nobu Ubetsu, Uemetsu. Uh, yeah, those are all really big Final Fantasy names, so shame, shame on Mr. Sunglasses for not knowing how to pronounce them. Uh, you're Jack the World Runner, who's a space cowboy on a mission to save various planets overrun by serpentine beasts. It takes place in Solar System 517, which is overrun by a race of aliens. They're led by the evil Grax. Nice. Uh, the game is pretty advanced. It had a 3D kind of scrolling event. Um, it was released in 87 on the U.S. had a feel with when you fought the bosses like Space Harrier. And... Yeah, it's not too bad. So, uh, what do you say we give it a shot? Do -do 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 oh, the exciting noise. Do -do 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 and you're running. So you can go slow, you can go fast. Running these pillars gives you items. That will give you the power to shoot. This will let you take an extra hit. Although, when you take the extra hit, if you get hit, you lose your shoot too, which sucks. Interestingly, um, if you pause the game, you get this neat little animation here of the guy kind of just chilling out and okay jump there and he's really jump right there. there's that uh, crazy stereo effect which does nothing for me red blue nothing there. and jump so there's a big jump you can go slow you can go fast there's uh, for various assorted balls for you to shoot your shooty balls at so yeah that's cool Job, oh, oh, job. Um, that bar down there is not a progress meter, it's a timer. You only have so far to get through each world. Um, there are four worlds and a boss for each you know, stage, so it's one, two here. Fire bad. Stars good. Yeah, usual stuff. Uh, job, oh. Oh, okay. um, you can speed up and slow down in midair, which is very handy. Um, if you jump side, well, bonus stage. Yeah. If you jump sideways, uh, your forward progression is significantly lower than I have dived in pits more than once for that. See that? Yeah, you know, it goes high and you don't go as far. All right. Star, star. Boop. Yeah. Heart. That's extra life. And apparently this bonus stage is now over, boys and girls. Welcome back to the desert of the real world. Jump, jump, jump. Now shoot the balls. To hear the music over and oh, 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 over. Hear the music more and here's a little more. And over here, the mushroom. Oh, if I get that spoon. Mushrooms, they kill you. So let's not eat a mushroom. It's ain't Mario, boys and girls. I think they did it on purpose, probably. You jerks. Screw you, square and claim. Yeah, you don't really hear much from McLean anymore. I think they, they pretty much shut their doors and got absorbed into like EA or something. They used to make a lot of NES games. Some of them were horrible, and some of them were pretty fun. This one's pretty good, although they didn't really make it. This one Square did, and they just, you know, released it. But hey, we won't fault them too much. It's, it's, it's a pretty decently fun game. Uh, I mean, pretty basic by today's standards, but, you know, it, it holds its uh, challenge. Uh, controls are good. Very, very good. I would have to say it's very, I mean, you feel, you know, it doesn't feel like any delay at all. Um, the jumping is kind of floaty, but that's the whole kind of challenge of it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Except right here where apparently the challenge is uh, not getting your balls mashed in by other balls. Up, and then here's the space harrier kind of part. Ready to fight a dragon. Ah, three dragon! Oh. 3D Dragon killed you, boys and girls. Okay, there's a guy shot. Yeah, apparently my extra hit does not count for 3D Dragon. 
Um, and whether or not you have a shot, it does not matter on 3D Dragon either. You always get a shot because you, know, you got a Space Harrier up. There's a bullet, I have like an extra hit. Yeah. Oh, invincibility. That's right. But the only time you get different music in the stage is uh, when you're invincible. And I sung right over it. You weren't missing much. As you saw, it doesn't last very long either. Jump. Here we go again. Ah, there's, of course, the boss has different music. Basically, the boss moves forward and backwards, and you don't want to get touched by him. Uh, maybe later they shoot. I don't know. I can't really ever get past the first couple stages in this game. I never really oh. And peace out or something. I don't really know. Let's go ahead and go full screen for level two. Lose all my bonuses, but that's okay. Yep. And the order changes, of course. And oh, look, there's, still, there's not balls. There's little things with arms. Some stars. Start with your friend. Stars with your pals. And uh, that was a bad jump. Didn't get the distance on that one, did I? Uh, the free hit. And I missed it, but I'll get another one at this pillar. Whoa, no, no. Yeah. Jump, distance, star, jump for the distance, star, jump. Whoa. Yeah, there's some balls. Ooh, double jump. Not my friend. Yeah. Oh, I missed a shot. I'm gonna die. Billy, you're gonna die. Okay. And... Kind of jumps like Mario too, puts his arm in the air. Game over. Well, there you go. That's 3D World Runner. Mr. Sunglasses says, um, give it a try. You know, it's challenging but fair. The trolls are very responsive. Overall, I approve.